Hello, in this video, it's the second video of a little mini-series in basic limit theorems. And in the first video, we looked at four different types of convergence of a random variable. And now we want to show some relationships between those types of convergence. And in this video, we're going to show that convergence and probability implies convergence and distribution. Okay. But in general, and that'll be the fourth video, that convergence and distribution doesn't always imply convergence and probability. Okay? But except if um, convergence and distribution to a constant, that does imply convergence and probability to that constant. So those are two things we're going to prove in this video. Um, so let's just jump right in. Let's uh, prove number one. So let's let x be a real number and be a continuity point of our distribution function f. Okay, So we're going to go through some properties here. So if epsilon is greater than zero and we look at this set x less than or equal to uh, x minus epsilon. Um, now if we uh, take the intersection of this with the set and then the intersection with its complement we get this back. And so what this is this is what this step does. So remember this second piece is just this, and then we take it xn minus x and xn greater than x. So the uh, union of these two sets, we get this back. Now to go from here to here, um, this second piece we just keep the same. And here we have the intersection, but if we if we get rid of one of those, then it, it makes this bigger. So if we just look at this, then, then this set just got bigger than this set. Um, so here, that, of course, just comes straight down. And then we take the negative of this side. Okay. Now, if we, um, if we just look, isolate this piece right here, and we, we look at a Cartesian coordinate system, say maybe xn and, and x, and draw these boundaries, what it is is this will um, this will focus a little rectangular region in in one of the areas. Okay, that's what this does. So when we go from here to here, of course that piece stays the same, but this right here, okay, this is is like a little rectangular region, but this is like it make creates a diagonal, and this piece here is the whole region. So this is like a little subset of this. So that's why this set is bigger than this. And now, if we go from here to here, this only looks at a region you know, below a diagonal. And then if you take the absolute value, it actually creates another little diagonal region going up. And so th this is a bigger subset. Now, let's think back what we just did. Um, so if we take the probability of this, which is this, it's less than or equal to the probability of this. But then the sum of those is even bigger. So then that's how we get this subset here. Now, a couple notes here that this right here kind of looks like convergence and probability. And if we let n go to infinity, by assumption that goes to zero. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna focus on this piece. So we're gonna subtract that over later. But just remember that. Okay. So now similarly. We started in, previously we started with x here, and this we're going x in, and, we're, and we do the same thing where we intersect it with a, a set and then it's complement, take the union, we get it back. And now I'm skipping several steps in here, but they're very similar to what we just did to get that this is less than or equal to this, okay? Um, now it says the probability of this is less than or equal to the sum of these two probabilities. Um, now, if we combine this step and the previous step on the next page, we get this. So remember the xn is here, and okay, that's the sum, and then on the previous page we found that difference. And what makes this intriguing is this piece here looks like the probability and this or the convergence and probability statement. So if we set let n go to infinity here, then um, this goes to zero. And then we're just left with f of x, uh, you know, the distribution function of f evaluated at x minus epsilon. The right side, 
this goes to zero and that is the distribution function and this is the limiting um, x sub n of x it's the distribution function okay so now we're, we're going to let x go to zero but we also assume that x is a continuity point of f okay so that cap f of x exists so when we go when we let uh, epsilon go to zero you know um, then then this equals this and that's trapped in between so it says the limit of this is equal to that um, cap the cap f of x okay which means that it converges in distribution and that's what we wanted to show that uh, convergence and probability assume or uh, implies convergence and distribution so we'll look at this last proof here where we assume that uh, x is a, a constant with probability 1 then the distribution function of course is this and we're assuming some random variable uh, converges in distribution to x okay. so now let's look at this statement which is the statement for probability so if we can assume this and show this equals uh, 0 then we're, then we're finished so because it says uh, that it, this conversion distribution to a constant implies convergence and probability so let's do that so this the definition of absolute value is, is this um, and then we add c to both sides we get this and now to calculate this probability we can take the probability of being less than this endpoint minus the probability of being less than this endpoint but we have to know we have to get rid of that equal sign there so um, to put that back, if we put that back, then this got bigger, which means the whole thing got smaller. So if we put that equal sign back, we get this. But then this is the uh, CDFs of, of Xn. Okay. So now let's let uh, n go to infinity. So n go to infinity and here and here. Now since those converge in distribution to F, we get this. But um, being slightly above C is 1, and being slightly below C is 0, and that's for all epsilon as it goes to 0, and, so, and that equals 1. So that says that probability is 1, which is the definition of convergence and probability. Well, that's all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. The next video, we're going to show that convergence in um, convergence almost surely implies convergence in probability and convergence in quadratic mean implies convergence in probability. Okay, bye.